think of something right now. Think of some major goal you want, or maybe it's one you're already working on, and you have experienced a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. You've experienced a lot of disappointment. Maybe you've already given up. And maybe you just need a little fire, a little encouragement to get back in the game again. Here's what I want you to look at. There are winners, and there are losers, and there are people who have not discovered how to win. And all they need is some coaching. All they need is some help and assistance, just a little support. All they need is some insight or a different strategy or plan of action to make some adjustments that will open up the key to a whole new future for them, that will give them access to the unlimited power that they have within themselves. That's all that they need. So what I want you to do is, is think about something you want for you, that's real for you, that's important for you, that will give your life some special meaning and power. And I don't even want you to say, I can do that. I don't want you to assume that. See, five years ago, when I started out in this area, I would not have been able to make the mental leap that I would be up to where I am right now. I don't want you to begin to just psych yourself out. No, no. I want you to be able to say something to yourself that will enable you to maintain a level of integrity with yourself. That when you say this, even when you face tremendous setbacks, it, it will be a benchmark to keep you in the game, to keep you moving forward and experimenting and readjusting your strategy and your plan of action, continuously looking for ways to win. So what is that something? When you got an idea, you want to move on. You might not have the money, you might not have the education. You might not have the support or the resources you need. What is that something that can keep us going, that will enable us to act on our grief? What's one of those keys that will begin to help us to discover the secrets to our dream? That's all I want you to do when you look at your dream. You say to yourself every day, it's possible. You say that every day to yourself, it's possible. Because what does that do? See. It begins to change your belief system. See, the way in which we operate, ladies and gentlemen, it's a manifestation of what we believe, what's possible for us. Whatever you've done up to this point, all that it really is, is a duplication, it's a reproduction of what you believe subconsciously that you deserve and what's possible for your life. Most people operate out of their personal history, out of their memory, things they've done, things they've experienced, things they've seen things that they have observed. What I'm suggesting that you operate out of a larger vision of yourself. I want you to see yourself doing what you want to do, experiencing what you want to experience, having what you want to have, doing what it is that gives your life some meaning and value. Operate out of your imagination, not your memory. Because whatever you look at where you want to go, I'm wanting to warn you, you will have some conversation back here after you go through the data that you've experienced in life saying you can't do it. And so what you want to begin to do is ignore that inner conversation. Well, most people, ladies and gentlemen, when something happens to them, what they do is they begin to believe that that's the way it is. That's the way it's always been. And they can't see the possibility of it being any different. 